So look, bro, happy Yom Day. Uh, I'm kind of excited today for the simple fact I haven't did one of these videos in a long time. You know what I'm saying? Scary videos on this channel used to be dope. And they still is, just that I've been doing other content and whatever. But we back, though. Um, I hope y'all straight. Get what you get right now. And get somebody in the room with you to watch this video, because some of y'all be scary in real life when it's just a, you know what I'm saying? But get what you get to get right. I got mine. Get yours. And, yeah, we finna get straight into this reaction. This next video was sent in to popular Japanese ghost hunting team, Clip Store, by a man who claims that the footage was recorded by his now deceased older brother. The man says that his brother was a big fan of the paranormal and often spent. The thing about a ghost hunting, like, first you can't hunt me, you can only hunt my cousins, first off. But no, for real, when you out there ghost hunting and doing this paranormal activity, bro, what are you supposed to do when you actually catch them? Because, like I said, I've been doing these videos a long time. And you never actually see the ghosts like right here. You always see them faint. They look like they in. It's a few of them on here that just undeniable to me. But that's a lot of them that just be cat, bro. In his free time exploring well-known ghost spots in Japan. So one day his brother decides to film an allegedly haunted tunnel somewhere in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan. He has an encounter that is absolutely terrifying. Gotcha. Bro, stop the cap. I told you to watch it with somebody else, bro. These videos be a little jumpy. I got you, though. Don't even lie. Don't even lie. What is that? Like a wall nutted. What is that? Is the wall bleeding? That shit is unsanitary. I will not be up in that man. Oh, hell no. Hell no, bro. Go back to that in slow mo. Did you see it? <laughs> After the man hears a creepy unexplained voice coming from right behind him, he quickly spins around to see an ominous dark. <coughs> this is what I'm saying. If you go look for the ghost, right? I'm doing paranormal videos. You hunt for the ghost. When you see him, why do you run? Encounter it. So what I do, if I seen the ghost, bro, I'm gonna be like, where my auntie at? Encounter it. That fool was out of there. Figure standing right in front of him. He was out of there. A shadowy here. shape that had not been there only seconds before. Absolutely terrified, the man makes a run for it. But the story gets even. What kind of person see a ghost and don't be like, oh shit, or, oh, oh. Bro just turned around and ran. Shadowy shape that had not been there only seconds before. At least. Out of here. Run. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Did you see? You ain't make no noise. Though. After the man hears a creepy, unexplained voice coming from right. Bro, if I see the police behind me, I'm like, oh. If I see somebody fighting, I'm like, oh. If I see a thick female, I'm like, how did you, you bro, you just seen a ghost? And how are you behind him? He quickly spins around to see an ominous dark figure standing right in front of him. A shadowy shape that had not been there only seconds before. Absolutely terrified, the man makes a run for it. But the story gets even weirder. What you mean? Because a few weeks later, the man who recorded this video passed away in a freak accident. This horrifying what? video was found on the man's phone. It was the last video that he recorded before his death. Coincidence or did he live a bad life, an unhealthy life? Let's be real, bro. I don't see, I don't believe in coincidence at all. I tell y'all that all the time. With that being said, somebody, something, or some, some, they got him up out of here. 
he looked willing. He looked healthy. Bro ran off the... And when they said a freak accident, or did he just... story gets even weirder. Because a few weeks later, the man who recorded this video passed away in a freak accident. What's the freak His accident? This horrifying video was found on the man's phone. It was the last video that he recorded before his death. If it was a freak accident, how did they get access to his phone? Because this is 2023. This video is not that old, bro. You can go to their YouTube channel, I think. With that being said, bro, the only way they get access to his phone to open up his phone if it was a murder, some kind of foul play, then the police get to open up the phone. I don't believe that nobody had his pen. He didn't have a twin that looked just like him. And then they go on his phone and release the video. Something up with this. Not even lying. So the clip store team tracks down the location, but they don't really find anything unusual during their investigation. It look like so that could it be that the man accidentally recorded real paranormal phenomena? And could this have somehow led to him losing his life in such a tragic way? How? Let me know. Bro, you not even telling us how. How did he lose his life? What's that looking like? The Viaduct Black Tavern. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations recently investigated the notoriously haunted Viaduct Tavern in London. The viaduct has been around for hundreds of years and was built just a few yards away from the site of the infamous old Newgate prison where thousands of criminals were executed. Damn. The tavern's third floor was once a brothel where a lady of the night named Kate tragically lost her life. Kate was a hoe? What they mean by lady of the night? Because back then, today, we call them prostitutes. Back then, they did call lady of the night, like the women of the night, prostitutes. And we all know that's the oldest profession, man. I wonder if, I mean, if that really was, I, I, I hit, she, I mean, she dead now, but back then, bro, must keep it 100. I tell you all the time, like, and this might sound messed up, but y'all, not even y'all, our great, 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 I was selling that cool. I'm not, I'm not lying to y'all, man. It's the thing about it, the thing about it, bro, it's crazy how everybody wanna think that it's not their family member. Everybody that's watching this, everybody that's watching this, including me, family that sold some of that cool. I don't care if it's to pay the rent, the car note, to get some extra money in their pocket. They didn't stay sex for money before by somebody they didn't like like that. They did it solely for the money. Let's keep it real. Kate was a hoe. She was. Right, she With such a home. long and dark history, it's no wonder that over the years, landlords, workers, and even visitors have witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. Nevertheless, the tavern has become a very popular local historical pub. The Ghost Tech team sets up several static cameras and begin their investigation on the third floor, where most of the supernatural activity has been witnessed. It doesn't take long before the three investigators start to hear very strange sounds coming from the floor like right what? above their heads. Go up there, Hello? scary. Oh my God, I hate when they just do that. Ghosts don't talk if they do exist, I promise you that. All right, he said hello like she's supposed to say, hello, I'm upstairs. No, fool, y'all got cameras all around the house. Y'all hunting ghosts. And he looked like, whoa, I'm out, I'm out the stereo. I'll show y'all in a minute. I can hear you. Okay, go upstairs, scary ass. I can hear you walking. There was a few footsteps. Oh, hell no. Nah. That's what I said about the stereotype, bro. If he find a ghost, his heart gonna stop. He gonna, that's how scared he gonna be, bro. You are too old to be out there doing any paranormal activity, nothing. Heart stop, die, next thing you know, your homie's gonna be hunting you. They gonna come straight. What is the irony of you hot, look, you hunting ghosts inside of a place that they died at, right? You see one, then you die in there. <laughs> 
Now you about to be fighting for position because you knew, bro. Everybody that died in there in the past, they already got they like they rooms and they beds and how to run the house. You and you are out of shape, oh, like. But ghost, when you pass, you back young again. You you don't feel nothing. How y'all know y'all died before? Shut up. I hate when somebody ain't never died before. I tell you what happened in the afterlife. Y'all are not me. <laughs> I promise you, bro. You don't. Nobody knows. Get up out of here with that cap, bro. You need to get yo yo. He need to be at a bar mitzvah for eating grapes. That's where he needs on the floor above us. As I stand on the stairs to the full floor, I hear footsteps above me on the floorboards. Here is the audio taken from Static Cam Five, which is located up on the full floor. The creepy sound of someone walking can be heard on the fourth floor of the Viaduct Tavern. The Ghost Tech team believes that they might be making contact with the spirit of Kate, the lady of the night that tragically passed away. How do y'all know who the ghost is? They don't wear name tags, fool. Yeah, you gonna say, oh yeah, we might be hunting Kate or the ghost. Man, there's so many people that died around there in the backyard. All right, all right, hold on. That was on the street. In the alley. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna think you hunting ghosts? Kate probably out there on Slauson and Crenshaw with Nipsey somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Talking about, oh yeah, it could be Kate. No, it ain't. Bro, it's a ghost. Maybe. Possibly. But stop trying to put a name on it. Y'all fool's not dead yet. It's probably Kate. The way there long ago, Jeff, Phil, and Mark head up to the fourth floor to do a spirit box session. And what happens next is downright creepy. If I knew your full name, I could look in the newspapers, the old newspapers, and find out what happened to the person that did that terrible thing to you. That's all I need from you, is your surname. So if I hold this out... Oh, shit! Guys. Yeah? Yeah. Bro, what was that flash in the cool. screen? Something's in that room. It just went past the window and I've got it on film. Something went across that window. Kate? While asking questions, Jeff captures the dark Kate. figure quickly moving in front of a window. It's not Kate, not bro. Once, but twice. Jeff immediately alerts the team of what he's captured, but they can't find any explanation for the bizarre encounter. And that isn't the only time the team captures something unexplainable that night. Back on the third floor, the three investigators begin to hear strange disembodied voices. And then this happens. There you go. That's why I was here. This fool look dead, bro. Kate, tell me your name, your full name. It is just crazy to me how they really think that's her. That is not Kate, my guy. I could look it up in the newspaper. What's your full name? Google it then, nigga. We can find out. find out what happened to you and whether the person that did it was caught and punished. Kate is the fuck that you think Jesus. Oh, <laughs> hey there! There was someone that stood by me. <laughs> Come oh my guy versus Okay. There was it's someone that stood by, by me then. Oh, oh man. That is the clearest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, calm down. Look, hard for the stop. Mark nearly jumps out of his skin as he sees someone standing right next to him. But when they look, there's no one there. However, when the ghost team reviews their recorded footage later, they realize that Mark actually did capture what he saw on camera. Now, it can only be seen for a split second when slowing down the footage. But as Mark spins around, the unexplained face of someone oh, damn. can be seen standing right next to him. So could this be the ghost of Kate 
The lady of the night who tragically lost her life inside the tavern? Or could it be the spirits of prisoners who were executed where the tavern now stands? That's you decide. more valid. You can watch this entire right. investigation this over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal they Investigations. Of people, bro. Encanto. Ghost Hunter Idol from the YouTube channel Ghost23 sets out to explore a remote waterfall in the middle of nowhere and surrounded by tall mountains. Idol has been told that the waterfall is haunted by an environmental spirit known as an Encanto, a mythical being that has the ability to appear in human form. Idol is awesome completely here, alone bro. as he makes the difficult climb up the waterfall with nothing. Have you ever seen a soul, a spirit, or a ghost come back as an elephant or a bird? He said they come back in human form. Yeah, that's how they all is. Well, at least everybody that said they see one, that's how they is. Y'all see me? We we come like they said they call a cockle cone. On them, on them, on them gone. Thing but a camera. The sun is setting fast, and with very little daylight left, Idol captures something truly chilling. What the fuck is that? Wow. Go towards it. These niggas be scary. Go towards it. Is that a ghost or somebody badass kid? Uh, it's it's not scary because it's in the daytime. He had a distance. It just looked like a regular person. Go towards it. Like y'all did. Y'all doing it wrong. How you gonna be a ghost hunter but you scary? That's backwards to the moon. Wow. He speak English. Bro. Now you want to go over there to see who he did. Buster. And another thing, bro, we ain't got no. I don't think that these spirits or ghosts, whatever they is, come back to hurt people. That's why I don't think they... I want to do this. I'm not going to lie. And I think it'll be entertaining than a mug on the floor. It's a group of places up in Vegas that I wouldn't mind hitting. They keep on saying it's paranormal. People come out here and visit. They go there. I want to go at like 2 o'clock in the morning to see if this is real. Because I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all, bro. I'm going I'm I'm to keep it real if it's, if it's real or not. Where he walked to. Hello, Hello. 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 That thing I'm not scared out of his wall. <laughs> A mysterious figure appears to be watching Idol as he's exploring and recording footage of the waterfall. The person then just walks away, like disappearing into thin air. Now there is nowhere for this figure to have disappeared to, as there is a steep drop below and a tall, unclimbable cliff above. Mm. Idol is baffled and confused by what he just saw and can't find anywhere that the mysterious being could have went. It's almost as if it walked right into the waterfalls surrounding the mountain. The so could this be the Encanto way. that is said to appear at the waterfall or something else? Tell me what you that think. That was Encanto or a badass kid. A cry for help. This next video is a bit of a mystery as it was reposted to TikTok without a source or information. The video shows CCTV footage of a young girl as she walks around her home. What happens next is like something from a nightmare. Where did Cloudy look? Is she in Mexico? Why did Cloudy look like that? Uh-uh, hold on. You said she did what? It Found her home. What happens next is like something from a nightmare. Walked in the room, walked in the closet. Why she call herself in the closet? What's wrong with this little, 
I mean, I know that's somebody's baby, but why are you walking? <laughs> Why are closet look like a church window? <laughs> hey, you got ghosts in the church house. It's crazy. And then they locked her in a room. What'd she go in there for? What'd the little girl go in the closet for if she didn't come out with nothing? Mm hmm. Locked her in a room. Yo. Yo. Okay, I got them too, all right? But I really, because people rarely do this, even though I do it. Why do they got a camera in the little girl room? It's what I, do they still live in a bad neighborhood or this? Why do they got a camera in the little girl room? That cloud is a ghost. They said ghosts come back in human form. We don't know. It's just stuff be looking all like off and kind of weird. This look weird. And it look real in the muff. I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. Locked her straight in the room. Yo! Lights suddenly begin to flicker, startling the young girl as she rushes for the door. Why well, I thought that was a glitch from the camera. The lights flicker on the dead homies. That's what y'all be saying, right? On the dead homies. Lights suddenly homies. begin to lights flicker, flicker, startling the young girl as she rushes for the door. But the door won't open. As she slams on the doorway, crying out for help, an ominous dark shape can be seen slowly moving towards her. One dark edge reaching out. Almost like an arm ready to it grab her. Like it. That's when someone, presumably her brother, comes to her rescue. And so she was about to get possessed if her brother didn't walk into this, this, this crazy. It opens the door for this her to escape. Wild. Not even lying. Now, without a source, we'll this probably never know what happened here. So I ask you, is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Off the rails. Stephen Kerner is out on a drive through the countryside of Minnesota when he spots something very odd. Uh, oh boy. What the? Uh, is that a train or? That ain't good. Is that a train only two cars? I don't know if running that, but. I mean, yeah. Okay. A small imp. Bro, ain't even got no cargo. Who running that train? I'm not gonna lie, I would have hopped on. <laughs> Look how slow it's going. It's all in the wilderness. Like the bro. train car with an empty caboose slowly moves along the track. Even and how ironically, with that two car train, I can see if it be like eighty to two hundred. How it usually be when they be coming through the city? This, bro, how did you ironically come across that uh, across that train? For real. Two seconds, five seconds earlier, five seconds later, you would have missed it. You really came in right at that time. And it looked like the train. Am I tripping? A small empty. I'm about to say, the train looked like a. The train car train with an empty caboose slowly there. moves along the track, even though no one is driving it. Steven is a little confused by what he just witnessed, but he just shrugs it off and drives away. But after posting his bizarre encounter on TikTok, someone spots something that Steven didn't see. That we didn't Not see. Not. And stop lying. Don't say y'all seen it right here before this clip, bro. Nobody seen it. Nobody seen it. We about to right now, though. But, I mean, yeah. Okay. What? Please tell me I'm not the only one who saw that. This thing. Right here. Is that photoshopped? What the f is that? Viewers That's are freaked out when they see an odd pale figure seemingly hanging. Nah, we gotta go back. We did not see this, bro. We did not see this. We did not see this. Slowly right? moves along the track, even though no one is driving it. 
Steven is a little confused by what he just witnessed, but he just shrugs it off and drives away. What the hell? Can y'all can y'all see now? Oh no, let me go back for I'm saying. This is a little confused by what he just witnessed, but he just shrugs it off and drives away. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, bro. But after posting his bizarre encounter on know. TikTok, someone spots something that Steven didn't see. Run of that, but I mean, yeah, okay. Oh my God, I seen it right there. I seen it now. But I mean, yeah, okay. At the end, look at that face. At the end, look at that face, bro. I see it now. Are you on shrooms? Please tell me I'm not the only one who saw that. This thing, right here. What the f is that? Viewers are freaked out when they see an odd pale figure seemingly hanging out of the back of the train. Bro. Many believe the tiny locomotive to be a ghost train. And some believe that the train might be haunted by a spirit. And others just think it's a very odd occurrence paired with pareidolia. But, what do you think this is? Let me know Scary down enough. in the comments. A rough ride. TikTok user Jose Castillo and his friends often mountain bike after work on some wooded trails near the city of Oaxaca. They said they mountain bike after work. Bro, drug test too. <laughs> For real, I'm not finna mountain bike after work. Maybe I'll get something in before, but I'm finna go to the house and eat a steak. You know what I'm saying? Mexico. One evening after dark, Jose and his friends go out on a trail that they've taken right many like times that. before. But this time, things take a terrifying turn. Jose's GoPro camera is recording when something happens that still gives him chills to this day. Oh my God! Did you see it? What the hell was Someone that? Someone or something appears out of nowhere and Jose barely manages to swerve around it. When slowed down and paused, the figure appears to be cloaked, wearing a veil that's translucent enough that you can see what looks like a face. Oh man. A very disturbing oh, face. Man. Many viewers of Jose's TikTok believe that he captured the infamous weeping woman, La Llorona, a vengeful spirit of Mexican lore that mourns the loss of her children. But what do you think this is? Let me know. Yeah, y'all let me know too. Got more videos to do. I'm gonna get at y'all when I get at y'all, which means the next video. Be careful, man, 100.